in to renew their pool permit as well as a hotel permit. Homewood Suites, also hotel, food, and pool permit. Liquors 44, Hopkins Academy, cafeteria, and the one new restaurant, Latino's Cuisine. That's it. Okay. So, so you guys can just vote on We have a motion. have a motion to approve. All right. Uh, all those in favor? Um, Margaret, yes. Uh, all right. So all these permits will go out tomorrow uh, by way of email, right. either by way of permit link or me. Okay. Thank you, Peter. Sure. Um, maybe at this point, before we get into the deferment applications, the interstate vendors, uh, mm -hmm. uh, that margarita. Yeah, sure. Should, should we talk about that since we're talking about permits and all of that? Sure. All right. So. Interscape vendors. I'm not in the loop on this. Oh, so Interscape vendors um, are doing a fundraiser. Oh, yes. I, 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 I heard about yeah. okay. it. I heard about um, it. So the question is if those food vendors need Should a one day, per, at least a right, one day, day event. And I, I say yes. Yeah, I would say yes. We require uh, permits by yeah. everyone else. So yeah, so Ben asked me that question. It, it, now they mentioned to state. Okay, now, now I remember. Talk to me back. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, I gave Ben exactly the same answer. We require that of all the other um, social events, if you will, the one day events, whether it be the Asparagus Festival yeah. or anything like that, they all need to be permitted. And uh, at the day of the event, uh, typically what happens is that uh, somebody from the Board of Health is there to inspect. I don't know if they're going to be doing any cooking. I'm, I honestly don't know. But um, so the answer is yes, they need to be permitted. Okay. All right. So, so Ben will go out to inspect on the day? Uh, I, or when I assume so. Okay. I, I don't know. All right. So does that something is that something we need to vote on then, or is it just us no. all? No. Okay, so no, that's, that's not, a discussion. Yeah, that's, okay. Yeah, we're gonna maintain our current process. Yeah. Okay, Emma, where are we on the uh, yeah plastic bag deferment? We have ten applications, um, which eight of them are are very well done and comprehensive and have good information. Um, there are two that I think we should request more information for. Um, those are the two Dunkin' Donuts that are here in Hadley. Um, the applications were just really. Um, were kind of just single words that just said Route 9 construction, $15 an hour, food cost, paper cost, electrical gas. Um, so I know that this was a probably a, a good first pass for them, but mm -hmm. I, I think we should, in good conscience, request more information. Mm -hmm. um, the other ones that we have are, for the most part, smaller local businesses. Um, TNT Nutrition, Mill Valley Store, um, Alina's Restaurant, Hadley Scoop at the Silos, North Hadley Sugar Shack, Home Depot, which is not, but they submitted. They're really the only big box that did. Um, Browse Coffee Roasters, Wildwood Barbecue, and Flavors of Cook Farm, um, which all had good rationale and for the most part I just I'm I'm proud of these organizations because the majority of them are very supportive of the bylaw um, want to work with it you know did purchase uh, non-compliant supplies due to not having kind of that forward messaging 
Um, so they really want to do their best to comply with it in good time. A lot of them gave timelines for their estimations of when they'll be finished with their current product. Um, so I think we should prove those eight that I stated um, to use up their current non-compliant product um, and, and then transition to approve products by the end of the year, if not by the date that they projected in their application, whether it was six months or stuff like that. <laughs> Elena, can you repeat them? Hadley Scoop, North Hadley Sugar Shack, Browse, Flavor, TNT, Home Depot, Wildwood. And did you get the Mill Valley Milk Store? It's one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Think uh, ten total one, with two, two to reconsider. One, two, six, eight, nine. I've got nine. Elena's Hadley Scoop, North Hadley Sugar Shack, Rouse, Flavors, TNT, Home Depot, Wildwood Barbecue. Mill Valley Milk Store. Hard because you're not going in the same order I'm written. Um, All right, you read them back. <laughs> flavors. Yep. Wildwood. Yep. Rouse. Yep. Home Depot. Yep. Sugar Shack. Yep. Hadley Scoop with the Silos. Yep. Mill Valley Milk Store. Yep. The two Dunkin' Donuts, which are independently. Yep, got them. But the, but those are the ones that we need more info. Correct. Alina's and TNT. Did I miscount? So that is, okay, so that's uh, two, I got them all, one, okay, six, seven, so that eight, would nine, so that's nine, and then seven. two, the Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, I miscounted, it's been known to have. All right, no worries. So, okay. so assuming you approve these, then are you communicating back to these people? All right. Up, okay. okay, so I'm not doing it. You don't have to. Okay, yeah. got it. Um, And then... Do we submit this to the town hall, to the different, or, I mean, we're approving it. Right. Does anyone else in town need to know this? It, it's not stated in the bylaw. So, okay. so I, I, I think in uh, an effort for towards uh, appropriate communication is that I think once you guys are done approving, because mm -hmm. they have until the 31st. Correct. Right? Okay. So once you're done, let's say in February, I think you guys should send a list yeah. to Carolyn because by way of the bylaw, the town administrator is responsible for We've enforcement. Been, right. That only these specific number of businesses have gotten. Right. Yeah. So, so once, once you guys have a complete list, whether it's, you know, 15, 20, whatever it is, I think, you know, a list, you know, or an email saying, Hey, here are the 15 or 20 that we approved. Deferment for or pre, uh, deferment until the end of the year. That way, she knows. Okay, you know, however we end up enforcing those, right. these are the guys yeah. that, that are that okay. can pay. Anybody else is coming. So, Emma, you'll you'll reach out to these ten yep. people. Yep. Once we get the list, yep. we can put that together. Send that yep. to I'm Carolyn. Okay. I started an Excel sheet. Excellent. Thank you. I can't help myself. That's that's the way I live. I have no choice. That's, that's how I buy my groceries. I use an Excel spreadsheet. You love it. <clears throat> okay. The other thing we have is an update on the town RM position. So we are going to be meeting with a candidate tonight um, at like 7.45. Yep. After. And yeah. then... That seems to go ahead, then we can forward that information to uh, HR. Uh, process for dealing with hoarding um, and senior housing complaints. Do we need to have some sort of protocols in place on that? I know we've talked about that before. I know Ben is working on it. Um. So, not to speak for Ben, but Ben and I did talk about this earlier today, and he asked me to mention. Uh, to you guys tonight that he is planning on putting together a working team, if you no will, yeah. uh, to 
address or to come up with a smooth, um, seamless, if you will, process and uh, communication routine that includes obviously not only the Board of Health, but you know, police, fire, building inspection, so on and so forth. Um, so he plans on convening a team, and I know he's planning on mm -hmm. having you on the team. Oh, great. Um, like you're looking for something to do. <laughs> but um, uh, because the uh, seemingly there's um, seems to be kind of like, you know, a bubble all of a sudden in the winter, and maybe mm -hmm. because of the season, I don't know, uh, of uh, activity or uh, work that, that Ben's starting to get involved with. So. Um, so anyway, that's I think that's going to happen probably in February. But again, that's sure. Yeah, no, that, I just that's, that, to that's not me. Okay. Uh, right. <clears throat> okay. Um, other items not reasonably anticipated. So I just want to confirm our next two meetings. I've got them on my calendar. It's February second. Yes, and February I've got 16th. the Zoom. Uh, accounts set up for that. I contacted Jennifer, okay. and we've got the Zoom for next for the our next meeting is. I, I think it's, I think it's the second, and then the sixteenth. Yeah, second okay. and the sixteenth. And if we want to consider after that, um, you know. Okay. That would be March. Let's make it March second. Yeah, March second, and then the sixteenth. March sixteenth. Yeah. So it, it's up to you guys. As long as I know where I'm supposed to be, so where I'm supposed to be. Um, so, yeah. I will be on vacation that week of March. That where March second falls, so I will not be here. No, but but, but, but we'll Zoom. We can have. That's, yeah, I won't be attending that Zoom. What? <laughs> We'll be hiking out west, so that sounds awesome. Um, but uh, we can still go ahead and schedule it because Susan can. Uh, yeah. Be here. Yeah. I, what I, date I, is that? Uh, that would be March second. All right. Second and sixteenth. And sixteenth. And then I know we were kind of starting to discuss um, possibly moving to like every three weeks or something like Correct. that. Correct. So Correct. I think we can reassess. At at this after after March sixteenth, yeah, I think. So. Yeah, I, I think most of our permitting should be done. Yeah, by then. Yeah, um, and you know, in, in the summer, you know, at last summer, the summer before. Yeah. Um, I don't think you're you know crazy busy, but it, I mean there are other things going on, obviously. But um, so maybe at some point in the spring, we can go to every three weeks or go monthly or whatever. Yeah. Um, and, uh, there was the, the COVID test kit accuracy. I, I can just say I was using the eye health kits when I had COVID. They were, and you know, that was the extended expiration and they were falling. So, um, so what was the so story? So Jen tested with three of them, three of the ones that have expiration dates of, I think it's June 30th. Um, and they did nothing. There was no whatever red line. Or so no control line. There was nothing. Oh. So so she went and grabbed one on the first floor in the collector's office because they have them right on the the counter. You know, and so she grabbed a box, went upstairs, tested, it worked. Interesting. So so we seemingly, and again, it's only one person, so. I, Again, I don't know, but um, so I think she will continue her game plan, I believe, is to continue to go ahead and distribute them to town employees as as needed. Um, and, you know, let's see what happens, because, okay. I, you know, I don't think we should have her not use them. I agree. And and these test kits were the ones that I grabbed last Friday yeah. from the senior center right. that had just been labeled. So it's not like they're, they're you know, right. should have been expired or right, anything right, like that. Right. So, um, 
So I saw her today and I said, look, you know, just, I think you should keep distributing. And you know, if somebody comes back and tells you, hey, no, no line, no nothing, you know, let us know. But so. Um, okay. All right. Any other business? I don't think so. Uh, then we need a motion to a adjourn. motion to adjourn. Yeah, and adjourn, and then you're going to meet with. Yes, and then we're going to meet with the candidate. Okay.